<laughs> this starts my 63 year friendship with that gentleman over there, Henry Rose. Jory Luxinger, Bobby Macko, who else? Henry. Kindergarten to 12. Willie, okay. <laughs> Franny. Oh, I was there before. Rob, Phyllis Wade, Brett. Steffi, Tommy Francis, and Phyllis Brett. Brett. And Phyllis. And me. Okay, and you can. 12. I was in kindergarten to 12 when I was in sixth grade once. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my greatest remembrances are how that girl's sports night. The hardest, the hardest kick to get ever in Carl Place. And I remember I finally, I don't know, I never had a girlfriend in high school, so I finally got a ticket in my senior year 
is Virginia Mitchell, who I wish was here. And I think, help me out, Mo, Jane Irwin? Jane yes. Irwin was in charge. Yeah, was in charge. Yeah, she was in charge. And my and memories. Jerry O'Connor, because I was Yeah, my memories are. Uh, yeah, I remember Peggy Martin yes. on the balance beam. Yes. I remember Mary Ann McNerney on the flying rings. And they were just amazing. And uh, I wish they were here tonight. How about Saturday football games in Carl Place? Amazing. Friday afternoon, pep rallies, thunderous applause as Henry and everybody, Jerry and Bobby and Betty and everybody came out. And uh, Saturday, the entire town shut down. The entire town shut down, and everybody was at the football game. And I remember the kickoffs. Bobby Allen getting the ball, running up the middle and veering right and waiting for the wall. Remember, Henry? For the wall to develop. And then, uh, this is a little personal note, and you've got to give me a break on this, but uh, and it has a point. Uh, there was a kid in our class that, you know, he was a bully. He was a bully towards little kids. He was a coward. I, I'm not going to mention them, but uh, and I was in gym class as a, in, in the senior year, and uh, he threw a basketball at my head. And he hit me, and my glasses flew off, and, and I went up to him, and I finally confronted him, and I punched him right in the mouth. And I, for those of you there, for those of you who remember, back then I was actually four inches. But I, weighed, I, weighed, I weighed 102 pounds. So I, I punched this guy in the mouth, and it was like, so what's going to happen now? And this guy comes after me, and Jerry Collimer is playing basketball with Henry and Bobby Allen. Jerry sees out of the side of his eye what's going on here, and he just goes over to this guy, and he says, you ever come to the Timmy in your entire life and you kill it. And this coward never can The point of the story is, is that Jerry was this gentle giant and he died tragically too young, as 32 of our other classmates did. It's mind boggling. Really is, and I love them dearly, and I wish they were here tonight, but they can't be here. I just I talked to Diane about this. We don't have everything completely worked out, but we are going to establish a scholarship for the class of 1963. And uh, I have a little experience in this because I did it when my brother Bobby passed away. And uh, the way it works is in either April or May. They have this scholarship gathering, and there's actually quite a few scholarships in Carl Place. And I know giving money is a very, very, very personal decision, and uh, there's going to be no pressure on anybody, and either Diane or myself will uh, will contact people and let you know how you can do this. I know my wife Yoshiko and myself will will commit to commit to a fair amount of money, at least for the next five years, we're not going to live forever. But, uh, uh, I just wanted, growing up in Carl Place was special, really special. And I remember everybody here, and I'm honored to be asked to do this, and we're going to have a great time tonight. Everybody get home safe, and I love you all.
being the evil cameraman. Ha, 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 ha.